What's up guys, it's Lizzie here, and we are back with Indigo Prophecy. Um, I don't know if you guys watched the Fatal Frame video yet or not, but if you did, then you met Seth, and lovely Seth, he made me spill a beer all over my PS2, so if anything messes up, it's officially his fault. And we left off, um, we're in the alternate reality at the bank. Um, and this was where, um, my game had, my <sighs> recording stuff had messed up, so I have to redo all of it. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go. And this is where, like, the hardcore analog stuff starts, so... Hopefully I don't mess it up. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. I'm gonna turn the volume up. There we go. I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The mind was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep any food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. Maybe it's fighting against the fact that you killed somebody! Tarot card! Alright, let's wash up. Any suspicions. Um, there's supposed Despite to the state, be a tarot card over here somewhere. No point in disturbing him. You better stop thinking. Yep, there we go. Woo found it. Okay. I wish I could just run everywhere in my office. Just. I'm in charge of computer maintenance in the Mason and Jones Bank. I share my office with Warren. Um. I want to say I'm supposed to fail one of these sequences. Do you know what time it is? What's wrong with you? I had a little problem on the way back in. I had to go back home and change my clothes. He shit himself. So we'll just fail both of them. I don't even know which one is. Neither one of them are useful. And don't look at that picture. Um, because it'll make him sad, and we want to keep as much stuff as possible. Some of these things I remember, um, that's a life. Gonna need that. Yeah! Like, I, it, um, when you're in your, uh, after you kill the guy and the cop comes to, oh! And the cop comes to check on you. Oh, don't check the computer either. Um. Lucas King. Hello, Lucas. Hello, Hello Lucas. Lucas. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? Hell yeah! I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. I'm doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. I'm doing a thing here. That's a total blow off. No, I'm not doing it! Look at the computer because that'll really fuck him up. Um, I don't remember if I told y'all, but when he's in his loft, like right after he kills that guy, and you can like take some medicine for your headache, but if you take that medicine and then drink alcohol, you'll die. <laughs> so there's some things you just don't want to do. <sighs> I guess we'll uh, just sit here. So I can't get up. We'll have a chat. You guys want to have a chat? Let's see. Um. My name's Lizzie. I'm a Virgo. Favorite color is blue. Um, favorite bands include Muse, Mumford and Sons. Um, hmm. Can't think of anything else important right now. 
I like anime a lot. Video games, obviously. Um, and that about sums me up. That about sums me up. Maybe I just need to do something. No! Ugh! Tiffany and I. About two years ago, I guess. I haven't been able to throw it away yet. What a dick. Maybe that'll progress the story. I just want to get up. I just want to get up. I don't want to look at the computers. <laughs> Why can't I just stand up? That's all. I <sighs> guess we gotta. Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. There we go. I'm about to say I had to live somewhere. If you, um... I think it's that second sequence that I failed. Um, he'll say, look out the cup! And the other guy looks at him like he's crazy. And I can't remember if that stresses him out, but I'm not risking it, because obviously I had to take that big 20-point freaking hit just to progress with the storyline. I swear, they just try and make it impossible sometimes. <laughs> just go about your day. No big deal. Oh, blah, blah, blah. The little, the little bugs in this remind me a lot of, um, in Heavy Rain, when, uh, Nam and Jaden starts to see, like, the little tanks everywhere when he stops wearing the, what is it, the Avi, or something, not the, I can't remember what it's called, what the glasses are called. I don't know where to go! Ah! Focus. I gotta focus. I was never very good at Simon Says.
faces of the same serpents. One and all. Woe to he who sees both sides of the snake. No! Lucas? Lucas, what happened? Ah! Did you hear me? Are you all right? Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. What is that? I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. But seriously, if he was, like, swinging from rafters in there, that's one hardcore motherfucker, I'm just saying. Oh, I thought it was gonna be there. I thought it was gonna make that really loud sound whenever you open them. That's such like. Okay. Let's go to the police station so we can do the composite. Composite, that's what it's called. Come in. Uh, hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Please, take a seat. Now, we're going to try and assemble a composite photo. A composite. <laughs> we have a computer program to help us. You'll see. That's some serious and fastest right it's there. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. Uh, it doesn't matter. You're going to do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. Lego. All right. <laughs> he already looks ridiculous. I like just doing the random button. He looks like a stoner. Yeah. All right, we're settled now. Ran him again. Oh, I didn't know they had one with hoops in the ears. I just almost spit my drink out. That lip, that. a Jamaican dude doing this. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's be serious now. Let's be serious now. Um. So I have no facial hair. We're gonna make it look just like him. Okay. Is this the face of the person you saw? Yes. Yes. At least that's how I remember him. Thank you very much for your help. We're going to get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still Bitches. in New York, we're going to find him. 50 to 75 percent. Outrageous. Just for that. I'm gonna stuff myself with pepperoons and crackers. Fourteen degrees. It's colder than that here right now. I'm gonna die when I have to leave tomorrow. Hello? Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. I'll study medicine. 
no apparent hematoma on the body. And two oh. broken fingernails on the right hand. Damn it, dude! I'm just trying to eat my crackers. He didn't see the murder until the last moment. He didn't have time to struggle. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Yep. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. Yes! Like these fingers. Because we're trying to hold a cracker. Abnormal dilation in um, both pupils. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Maybe he was incredibly terrified because some dude was straddling him. Third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. So With a knife. In and the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left-handed. I am? One stab neatly cut the other. And the other two cut the left and right. Coronary artery. No, he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Okay. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death? Yeah. The three arteries leading to the heart were cut. And the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. Um, can we get in? Do you think it was just by chance? Difficult to say. Mm, difficult to say. The chances of cutting all three main arteries to the heart with three lucky stabs are fairly small. But, um, <laughs> this is not. There we go. Where's the stab at there? Yay! I uh, saw a case like this once before. <laughs> it was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Carsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten? Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Hell yeah, I am. Now we're going to... In the video! Wait, where am I going now? What's the next part gonna be? Yep, I'm ending it here. Cause the next part, Lucas gets his freak on and that's gonna require a lot more editing than I feel like doing tonight. But, <laughs> I will pick it up um, there in the next video. I'm not sure what day it'll be this week because I'm working late. Um, so I'm not really going to have a whole lot of time until Friday, but there will be more this week. And as soon as I can drag Seth back over here, there will be more Fatal Frame. I absolutely refuse to play that alone. Um, and hopefully we'll get a little more exciting, um, once we get more into the action part of it. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy me starting Fatal Frame. And sorry if I look like a pig stuffing myself, but I haven't eaten dinner, so I was <laughs> a little hungry. Um, but I was just trying to get this done uh, so I could get it uploaded for you guys. And so definitely this weekend I will get something else up. And until next time, bye!